on fam it has been a minute and i know that but i am back with an in-depth smoky eye tutorial jumping right in i'm using the mac soft ochre paint pot and i'm using the morphe 15 and eyeshadow palette for this look today picking up that soft brown eyeshadow called opal i'm taking the morphe m504 blending brush and applying that all over my crease Next, taking this deeper, more rich brown, which is called Shook. I'm using the same brush and just simply deepening my crease with this color. Next, picking up a little bit of the shade Roxanne from the Jacqueline palette. I'm blending this. I'm using this color to blend everything upward. I want to just diffuse all the shadows a little bit higher. And this color goes a long way, so be careful. For my base, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Color Stick in the shade Bitter Clove. This is an OG MAC product, and I'm taking this directly and placing it all over my eyelid. I'm making sure that this does not go above my crease by simply taking my ring finger and blending it downward. For my base shadow, I'm taking the shade Hello, and on camera, this color looks a little bit off, but in person, it's more rich and has a piece, teeny tiny piece of plum into it. I'm taking the Morphe 203 brush and placing that shadow all over my lid and then blending the edges. Next, picking up a black eyeshadow and an angled brush, I'm simply lining my lash line and buffing that shadow a little bit upward just for the sake of my false lashes. Picking up that same eyeliner, I'm tight lining and applying it in my waterline and then we're going to take a break from the eyes, start on the face and we'll come back to the eyes later. As for my foundation, my Holy Grail Estee Lauder foundation has still been my baby. If you're an OG, you know that this is my ride or die. As always, I'm using a beauty blender for the application because that's what works best for me. And as for my concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 20. And then 15 over top of that for a more brighter effect. I've been doing this lately and I love how it turns out. I'm applying the 20 shade on my forehead and a little bit on the bridge of my nose and on my chin. Then taking my beauty blender and blending it all out. For my cream contour, I'm using the Morphe M510 brush and the LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And applying that in the contour areas such as my forehead, underneath my cheekbone, my nose, and my jawline because no one wants a double chin. Who's with me? Moving on. Then, taking a butt side of the beauty sponge, I'm pretty much just pressing the contour into my skin and buffing it. I don't want to drag this product anywhere, I want to just simply blend it out. Now to bake, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with the pointy side of my sponge. And what I'm doing here is I'm simply pressing the powder underneath my eyes and up to my temples. I like to also bring the powder alongside of my nose for a more narrow effect. Then I dust it off with a Morphe E2 brush which by the way has been my go-to always for this then i take the cover fx matte setting powder in the shade medium mixed with light and set my whole face by just pressing that into my skin for bronzer i'm using hula from benefit with the same contour brush that it comes with and i'm bronzing in the same areas we contoured then i'm taking a morphe m509 blending brush and going over what we bronze just to make sure that it's all looking smooth for blush, I'm using the Becca Lightwaves Highlighter Palette and taking that middle shade right there. It's called Pink Sapphire. Such a cute color. And this is just going to give my cheeks a nice rosy glow. As for brows, my method hasn't changed one bit because what I've been doing has been working. So no need to change what is not broken. I do have an in-depth brow tutorial that I will link below. But as for now, I'm using the Tamnova Brow Duo in the shade Blondie and Mink with their brow brush and applying the product in the areas where my brows are more are most sparse i brush the brow hairs upward and fill in what needs to be filled in on the lower part and then i brush the brow hairs downward and fill in the top part moving back into the eyes i'm taking the second shade we used with the morphe 508 brush i'm applying that shadow all over my lower lash line then i'm using a 229 luxie beauty brush and buffing that lower and connecting it back to the crease shadow Next, taking any angled brush of your choice, I'm using a black eyeshadow and pressing that tightly to my lash line. You want this to be super thin but visible. Then, I go back in with the two previous brushes that we used and I buff and blend all of that out. Next, we're going to conceal our brow bone. I love doing this. It's my favorite detail in makeup. I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 with a Namie's brush, and I precisely outline the lower part of my brow, and I buff it down with that same exact brush. But you don't want to take this concealer too low because that can mess up your eyeshadow. 
I make really weird facial expressions when doing this, so let's just get past that. To highlight, I take my pinky and champagne pop from Becca and I place that on my brow bone. Then I blend it out with a naked blending brush. For my highlight, I'm using the 14K Face Glimmer from Galactic, and since that was a cream product, we used a beauty blender to apply it. And over top of it, we're using a powder highlight from Pop Beauty called Gilded Light. It's super beautiful. I'm using the M501 brush to apply that powder highlight. Then I brush all of that out with my blush brush to make sure there are no harsh edges. For mascara, I'm using the Dare Real Mascara from Benefit and lashes are called Dream Girl from Velour. Then I'm picking up that shade from the Jacqueline palette called Beam with my pinky and applying that in my inner corner. For a gloss, we are going to finish this look with the Dose of Colors Undress Lip Gloss. And this look is complete. Thank you guys for watching, following, and supporting me. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys!